Hey guys, it's Rx here and welcome back to my channel. We are finally back with another keyboard review and this is my first time using a really big layout like this and I already did the sound test on this board so today we'll be reviewing the new Zoom 98 by Melitrix. A quick disclaimer before the video starts that the board was sent for a review by Melitrix but I wasn't paid to make the video and of course I'll give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about the Zoom 98. The group buy for the Zoom 98 is now live and you can check out my affiliate link down below if you would be keen in getting the board. Now let's run down what the Zoom 98 is all about. This is Melitrix's latest release on their Zoom series keyboards and it features a perky RGB, a tri-mode PCB, and the layout combines a full-size keyboard and an 1800 layout. Now by default, it comes in with their LCD or two key module and you can also get an additional knob and badges modules. Now the prices starts at $179 for the essential edition. Now let's go ahead and see what we'll get out of the box. Now keep in mind that some of the things here are considered as add-ons and I'll go ahead and link the base price landing page on their website down below. First up, we are greeted with a nice looking packaging here and I can say they have actually upgraded the packaging. It feels more sturdy now and it still has that cool artwork same on the Zoom 75 on the box itself. Now they sent us the PVD silver for our back weight. So they sent us one of the add-ons, the badge kit and the two key kit which is included by default as mentioned earlier on the base kit. And of course we have the knob kit as well as an add-on. Out of the box, we'll get the Wochui Studio Stabilizer Kits, their gasket sleeves, the rubber feet, of course the essentials, the screws, and the hex screw to build the board, a coiled cable, the two battery kit for the tri-mode PCB, a PC plate, a hat swap flex cut PCB, and of course our favorite, the key, the case foams. One thing that I also like about the look of the board would be the side profiles. As you can see, it has some nice curves to it and not to mention, it also has an underglow feature to add more flair to it. The back weight is also refreshing to see. I like this more than their mirror black uh, black plate back plate, sorry. And I'm glad that they went with something more subtle for the weight itself. The finishing is also really on point as expected with the special edition cases. It's really smooth and doesn't have that rough and grainy texture to it. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the board itself. It's wrapped around this very nice soft cloth which is a very good addition by Melitrix and I think this is the first time that they're adding a cloth on the package. And for the board itself, we was sent the SE or special edition e-white case that has a very nice gold accent on the chamfers. Now one thing that I really wanted to highlight is that this dot RGB here will be replaced with their telescope logo for all the mass production units. So keep in mind what I'm having right now is just the prototype unit and the final one would be their telescope logo. Now for the build guide, I'll be skipping that part and I will just link Melitrix's official build guide on the video because I would really say that building the board, it's very pretty straightforward. It just takes most of your time or time consuming because of how big the layout is. Now before the sound is, the, the disclaimer that I always say is that the board or the sound and experience will always vary depending on your keyboard build. So it will sound different and feel different depending on your build. Now we'll be using the polycarbonate plates 
one plate foam or the plate foam and one case foam. For the switches, we'll be using the Wotre Studios Heavy Tactile and Wotre Studios Morandi Linear Switch. The keycaps on the video are the Shenpo Hangul PBD sets. And with all of that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test on the new Zoom 98. That was the sound test for the Zoom 98. Please do let me know about what you think about them on the comment section down below and let's have some quick discussions. As you know, I always try my best to reply to your comments. And if you made it up to this point of the video, I would like to say thank you for staying and now let's go ahead and go a bit in depth in, in regards to talking about my thoughts and opinion about the Zoom 98. Now let's talk about my first thoughts on the layout. I was actually a bit confused as mentioned on our intro earlier. It's a combination of an 1800 layout and a full size layout. It's like they were trying to be compact but they also wanted to have that full size look. And as many of you mentioned on my sound is, and even on their Discord server, they could have just opted or committed to a full-size board. And for you guys, some of you said that it looks a little bit weird. Personally, I believe that they really wanted to go compact, but because they wanted to add that LCD feature along with the two-key module, it, I think that's the reason why it really made the board go look almost a full sized. And honestly, at first, I again, I did also find it weird, but at the same time, it's like their own layout now. Given that the added LCD feature, I wouldn't say it was a bad decision, but I kind of wish they just called it in a different name rather than going for that 98. Going back to what I mentioned earlier, the finishing is superb as expected on the special edition and I was really expecting that on the special edition again they are using an e-white for this finishing and it's really smooth with no texture and grains personally i really like how the gold accent chamfers here pops more than the se black now moving on to my main thoughts the feel on the board i would say this really feels like the other zoom boards it has their signature soft bouncy typing feel along with their flex cut plates and pcb but i would say the typing feel on this feels far more solid than their zoom tkl and i didn't actually find it too flexy or bouncy for my liking or preference unlike the previous zoom boards now with the flex cut options maybe because it just feels more solid because of how big the layout is and again just overall feels nicer when typing as i really really expected it to be flexy or bouncy but it just has that right amount to be balanced or comfortable for a long period or typing of typing 
Now, moving on to my thoughts on the sound. I really expected it to sound really hollow and thin and would heavily rely on the foams. And to be fair, I was using a FlexCut plates and PCB, so I was really expecting the sound to be more on the thinner sound profile. But to my surprise, the alphas and the modifiers sounds pretty good and more pronounced and fuller. I barely hear any hollowness as well. But as expected, with an 1800 layout or a full-size board, expect the numpad side to sound hollow. This is the only part where I can say that I heard some hollowness and pinginess. And no matter how hard I tuned my stabs, it was really hard on the numpad side. But I won't deny, it still has that tad, tad bit of a foamy sound profile while having still enough clack. I would still depend, it would still depend rather on what switches or combinations you will be using with the board. It's just nice to highlight that the board didn't sound hollow on my build. Overall, I really like the board when I needed it for productivity purposes. Like it helps me focus in a way that I know I'm almost using a traditional full-size board. It looks really sleek and nice on the desk and not to mention the added LCD for the extra feature. Again, I really like the side profile, how it looks of the board along with the RGB underglow. And again, for the base price of the $179 for the Essential Edition, I think this should be something to consider on your list if ever. But if you really don't need a full-size board, I would say don't bother. It's alright, don't feel left behind or don't feel the FOMO. Again, as mentioned, this layout is a niche within the niche and geared towards to those who needs a full-size yet unique looking board on their desk. And that's it for the video guys. I do apologize if the review was quite long, but I really don't want to give you a short review or just for the sake of uploading a review. I really, really wanted to let out my thoughts about the Zoom 98. So I hope you find this helpful and hip. if you do, please don't forget to like the video and if ever, please use my affiliate link down below if ever this piques your interest. So what's next? Well, we'll be back with the switch grind as I have a lot of switches for you guys and one more keyboard review before the month ends. So please stay tuned for that. Again, don't forget to like the video, share if you want, and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next review. Peace.